Hello and welcome to the in new series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja Devi and in this segment today we are going to talk about hydrogen being an alternative fuel. This topic is important from the perspective of prelims and also from the perspective of GS mains paper 3. So let's begin with the topics of discussion that we are going to look at. First of all we will talk about why in news then we will talk about the national hydrogen energy mission which will be followed by hydrogen as the alternative fuel we will also talk about electric vehicles and hydrogen fuel vehicles versus the normal electric vehicles we will compare them we will also talk about the advantages as well as the disadvantages of hydrogen as a fuel and in the midst of the segment and in the last of the segment i am going to give you a pre based and a main based question respectively so let's begin with why in news now this topic has come into news because of elon musk's statement about hydrogen fuel vehicles being mind boggling stupidity and also if you know about it in the budget of 2122 the finance minister has launched national hydrogen energy mission which will provide india the capacity to reduce its carbon footprint that means decarbonize it by the year 2050 and also achieve one of its intended nationally determined contribution under the paris agreement so we will discuss in detail about everything here moving on let's talk about our national hydrogen energy mission now in the budget the finance minister has said that we will try to use hydrogen as an energy in order to make india carbon free or decarbonize by the year 2050 as well as if we talk about the main source of hydrogen for india it will be mainly from green hydrogen we will discuss the types of hydrogen as well first let's see national hydrogen energy mission it aims to reduce petroleum use greenhouse gas emissions and air pollution and contribute to more diverse and efficient energy infrastructure now we don't only need hydrogen as an energy but also supportive infrastructure that is first we need the consumer demand then only the supply will be possible and in order to increase consumer demand we need to increase awareness we need to have a supportive or supportive beg your pardon infrastructure and also if we talk about the finance the ministry has already given 1500 crore finance for this particular mission also it is now proposed to launch hydrogen energy mission in 2122 for generating hydrogen from green power sources now if we talk about green power sources these are non fossil sources such as renewable energy and also not only essential to decarbonize heavy industry this is but also holds the key to clean electric mobility that does not depend on rare minerals as you know that coal still remains the king in the energy mix of india approximately 53% that is more than 50% of the energy mix is dominated by coal india heavily depends on coal for its energy use not only for electricity but also for transportation steel and chemical industries and the rest so what do we need now we need a cheaper sustainable and accessible fuel in order to reduce our dependence on coal moving on let's talk about hydrogen as an alternative fuel so first of all we need to know what is hydrogen basically hydrogen fuel hydrogen is the lightest and the first element on the periodic table now it is so light that it increases it is even lighter than the air so it increases higher than the air and that is why we cannot attain the pure hydrogen hydrogen in its purest form that is h2 and at stable temperatures at the needed temperature it is non toxic in nature non metallic odorless tasteless colorless and highly combustible diatomic gas also if we talk about the abundance of it 90% of the entire universe is made up of hydrogen and the sun and the stars are made of hydrogen of course and if we talk about it splitting it splits into water and oxygen and that is why it is such a clean energy source if we talk about the types of hydrogen 
first is the grey hydrogen. Now grey hydrogen is sourced from fossil fuels such as natural gas and the rest and the, this is grey hydrogen is the main source of hydrogen in India and its byproduct is carbon dioxide. Then comes blue hydrogen. Now blue hydrogen has the byproduct carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide and these have the capacity to be captured and stored and that is why they are more cleaner or sustainable than grey hydrogen. Then comes green hydrogen. Now green hydrogen because the Indian government is targeting its benefits to be sourced from green hydrogen. Green hydrogen is available by the use of or sourcing is done from the renewable energy source such as wind source, solar energy source and they have to byproducts that is water and water vapor. So that is what Indian government is trying to do, get its, get its fuel from a cleaner source of hydrogen that is the green hydrogen. Moving on, let's talk about why do we even think of hydrogen? It is the most abundant element in the universe, most abundant element in the sense profoundly found, widely found, that means it can be widely accepted as a source and hydrogen will replace fossil fuels when hydrogen will replace fossil fuels such as petrol and coal so it will of course lead to less pollution or pollution free environment because it has net zero carbon emission carbon footprint you have to keep that in mind not zero but net nearly net zero all right and if we talk about other benefit of it First is of course less pollution and second is it will not be at all, it will not be manipulated by the prices of petroleum that we are seeing right now. It will not be manipulated or affected by the rising price of crude oil. So that is the another benefit. Also it will benefit the transportation, transportation sector which could depend on hydrogen as a fuel and transportation sector needs to be cared about because one third of the total greenhouse gas emission comes from transportation and iron and steel and chemical sector will also be at the advantageous end of this entire scheme that is why we talk about hydrogen now let's talk about electric vehicles what is an electric vehicle it is one that operates on an electric motor instead of an internal combustion engine that generates power by burning a mix of fuel and gases. Now, electric vehicle has been in has been a concept since a very long time. But now, because as we see different reports of the organization, multilateral organizations, they are they are showing that we need to reduce our carbon emission, we need to reduce the greenhouse gas emission, and that is why the countries around the globe are moving towards their it actually they're executing this concept bringing this concept into practice so that is why we are talking about electric vehicles now and if we talk about the types of electric vehicles now see see them one by one first is the hybrid electric vehicles which can be a mixture of electric usage and also fuel usage such as petrol and these are the needs they can be recharged and they can be fueled as well. All right. Then comes battery electric vehicles. Now these are fully rechargeable, not uh, not refueled. Okay. And plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. Now plug-in hybrid electric vehicles are rechargeable and also refuelable because they use petrol as well. They, they could use petrol or diesel. And fuel cell electric vehicles. Now, these cannot be refueled, they can only be recharged and use hydrogen. They can split, and if when they use hydrogen, they uh, their byproduct is water and water vapor and oxygen. So that is the entire concept of different types of vehicles, right? Moving on, let's talk about hydrogen vehicles versus the generic electric vehicles. Now, if we talk about there are some advantages as well as disadvantage. First of all, the biggest 
thing that any customer in order to demand something needs to know the money he is investing in a particular asset he will get the return of the investment of course so driving range if we talk about hydrogen fuel vehicles they provide very good driving range suppose per charge electric vehicles could give a range of 400 miles or 550 miles hydrogen vehicles hydrogen fuel vehicles can give even more than that first is the driving range advantage then comes available power and refueling station now if we compare the generic electric vehicles with hydrogen fuel vehicles the number of charging station for electric vehicles are much more than if we compare them to the hydrogen fuel vehicles there are only 500 hydrogen fuel vehicle charger station or infrastructure refueling stations if we call about so there are only 500 of them in the entire globe you can imagine and if we talk about the charging stations for evs there are approximately 8 million so you can see the number then comes powering and refueling time the hydrogen vehicles get faster refueled when it comes to getting their source in comparison with electric vehicles and if we talk about which is more sustainable of course if we talk about this the problem here lies that the supply depends on the demand and when the demand is not drummed up in the entire globe a global community does not ask for it of course we will not be able to actually focus the sustainability issue because once they are in use then only we will get to know the real or practical challenges to them right so that is yet to be seen and if we talk about the advantages and disadvantage before that i would like to ask you a pre based question the paris accord which was signed in the year 2015 is on the lines is on the sidelines of which conference of parties you have to tell me that in the comment segment all right so if we talk about the pros and cons look at the pros first that hydrogen is a clean fuel and no emission of carbon monoxide hydrocarbon and particulate matter is there we have already studied that water and water vapor are the only by products and they can also be used in desert areas of course and if we talk about the third points we have already talked about the second third point says that the biomass based hydrogen production will lead to boost in the rural economy right if we get hydrogen from biomass such as cow dung it will definitely stimulate the rural economy because that could be traded for more hydrogen once we create demand for it and vehicles running on hfcs are best suited for heavy duty vehicles such as electric vehicles and are only limited to lighter vehicles look at the cons they are not cost effective and a hydrogen based fuel is highly inflammatory the production transport and storage of the fuel is possible challenge because first of all the biggest problem is getting hydrogen then storing them at such a high pressure and after that it is also very vulnerable to being they can be of course exploding in nature as they are at high pressure so they can explode and that could cause damage to life and property and the investment required in storing and dispensing the hfc vehicle is expectedly very high as the demand is not that and demand is not very high plus the infrastructure is not very robust we need to of course increase the price of it so that it little bit it has an effect on the demand for it and as the international market of hfc vehicle is very less the loss and the chances of facing it are very high of course moving on if we talk about the infra first of all supply is very less only hyundai toyota and honda they actually provide the hydrogen fuel fce fcevs okay first is that fuel cell electric vehicles and hydrogen vehicles and if we talk about the infrastructure only 500 power stations or uh, rechargeable or whatever you may call it only those are available in the entire globe and if, of course if we talk about their comparison with electric vehicles they are not at a huge electric vehicle scale okay as at the same scale where electric vehicle lies 
so these are the possible consequences and if we talk about our main space question kindly pay attention over here in order to achieve its ambitious carbon footprint reduction goal discuss india's national hydrogen energy mission you have to discuss it in 250 words so kindly practice it all right that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching